Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to record you um, this to show this mandala which I created on the solar eclipse. I cleansed crystals under the moonlight and by the way when you do that uh, keep in mind that moonlight actually takes away everything like uh, both positive and negative energy it in a way it restarts recharges with its own energy uh, crystals so um, it's very good if you want to give them kind of like a new start a new life which I do once in a while so um, yeah I left them overnight and as you see they're very very bright and shiny and uh, after that I created this improvised mandala which uh, is uh, done in the order of uh, chakras starting with the base chakra and then the second chakra orange chakra orange color and then solar plexus heart chakra pink and green and then blue throat chakra and uh, sixth chakra intuitive and white uh, divine uh, the seventh chakra so the central piece I chose this uh, wooden sculpture which I had um, I can't remember whether I bought it myself or someone gave it to me I think I bought it myself somewhere I use it um, at my um, near, at my bed table and uh, I hope it will attract some love into life so it never hurts you know and one of the options for the central piece uh, I also um, have this citrine point and citrine is good for abundance for staying positive uh, focused on your goals and your something some projects or whatever but especially staying very optimistic and joyful it's a solar plexus uh, stone so I got it on eBay some time ago really a really nice piece as you see okay and also another option could be for example this uh, kind of ball or this this one this opal and this is a, I think uh, it's a honey call side although it was uh, offered on eBay as a citrine but I think I don't think it's a citrine I think it's a call side and here we have um, petrified wood hard hut and this one is uh, a very nice piece of uh, um, rhodonite quite rare in color look at this it's gorgeous uh, this is uh, labradorite and uh, rose quartz also I have a nice uh, piece of our uh, apophyllite which is uh, sorry my focus is off apophyllite apophyllite or apophyllite I'm not sure what's the pronunciation in English it's a transformation stone similar to clear quartz which is often used for also for crystal grids and this stone is has more of a subtle transformation effect and theoretically we could also make it a central piece I think it looks really pretty with all the stones it's it's a little bit crowded here I took some time <laughs> to create this collage you know um, it's uh, it's been like maybe like around two hours or something I know it's crazy to to do that but it was a kind of meditation for me I'll show you more closely closer all the pieces these are not all the stones from my collection but some of them most of them I would say I adore all of them and I think it's uh, it's so much fun to have them I should do those mandalas more often because the process itself was kind of meditative and I felt really really happy after that uh, quite well scented and um, full of energy for the day yeah so um, what I wanted to say is that this one also was created mainly for Instagram but in a way you can do a variety of crystal grids uh, with stones